All right, so here I'm going to look at another example of subtracting whole numbers. So in part A, we have 412,347 minus 216,517. I'm going to do that one first. So my first column, um, there's no problem. I don't have to borrow a, 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 a digit from the next column or anything. As long as the number on top is greater than or equal to the number on the bottom, uh, we can just do our subtraction. So 7 minus 7 is going to leave us with 0. If I look at my next column, well, 4 minus 1 is going to leave us with 3. Well, now this is our first kind of, uh, again, spot where we have to be careful because now the number on top is larger than the number on the bottom. So if you think about it, if you've got 3, in a sense, I guess somebody couldn't take away 5. Well, you can. You've got negative numbers, of course. But again, when we do subtraction, that's not how we do it. So if the number on top is smaller than the number on the bottom, what we do, again, is we borrow a digit from the next, uh, the next column. So instead of a, tw a 2, I'm going to bump this down by 1. And, well, that would make it into a 1. And instead of a 3, I'm going to now pretend this is a 13. Okay, so I'm kind of borrowing a, 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 you know, one digit from that next column. So 13 minus 5, well, we can do that. That's going to leave us with 8. All right, but now we've really got the same problem again, because now I'm thinking about 1 minus 6. Well, the number on top is smaller. So what I'm going to have to do, again, is borrow a digit. So instead of a 1, I'm going to make this into 1 smaller, which again is a 0. And again, then we just tack a 1 in front of our original number. So now we have 11 minus 6, which is going to give us 5. We can just drop down our comma. Again, we've got this problem again, because now we have 0 minus 1. Well, I'm going to have to borrow a digit, so instead of a 4, this is going to become a 3. Again, we just put a 1 out front. 10 minus 1 is 9, and then 3 minus 2 is 1. So it says if we do our subtraction, it says our final answer will be 195,830. And I think I'll do Part B here um, just as a separate example.